Well, we're we're not what we were when we limped off the field in New York um, last December. Um, we're not that team. What team we are, um, I'm not really sure yet. Um, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get an idea of that next Friday when we get back together again. Um, our focus the whole season is to learn how to be a team that's defined by our toughness um, and our level of competition, which is really what the University of Miami has always been founded on. And those are not things that sound foreign to any other coach or any other football program, but there's just certain things that at the University of Miami there's been a very uh, specific recipe for success. Uh, when it's followed, Miami generally wins a lot of games, but it's not for whatever reason they generally don't. So um, I felt like in the past that we were a team that on different days would, would play at different levels. And, um, and so we're trying to create a competition. We may not have all the, all of our guys on our roster may not be up for it. And part of what we want to do this summer, we're sort of de decide, de you know, if you don't ever turn up the heat, you don't really find out who's really in and who's not. And so this off season has been about trying to really find out who's all in in our program and who's kind of long for the ride and identify the ones that are long for the ride and keep them out of dependable situations. We may still need them because we you know, you gotta, you gotta put 11 out there. Um, but until we can recruit to get a bunch of, you know, Guys are really Miami guys out there, you know. At least we got a few those coaches. Do you feel like a Coach Rick set everything perfectly? You know, maybe you see your transition good for you, or did you build on when he was there? There's no doubt. The, the program is in infinitely better shape in 2019 than it was in 2016. Um, for, for all I have to do is look at my office every day. You know, we, we've got a brand new indoor practice facility with brand new offices. I mean, it, it's it's not even the same football program it was four years ago. And these are things that. No slide on the coach before Coach Rick. Um, everyone knew that Miami needed this for a long time. But it took a guy like Mark Rick with his vision and his leadership skills to galvanize a community to get everybody to step up to make it happen and, and, and fix a, a, a long-standing wrong. Um, the guys before Coach Rick could have done better if they had had that too. I'm the very fortunate one now that gets to benefit from the heavy lifting of the men that came before me. So I'm, I'm well aware of that, including Mark. Uh, Mark and I still have a great friendship. We still communicate all the time. He texted me this morning. And um, and I know this, my last point on that is <laughs> you won't find a guy that loves the University of Miami more than, than Mark Rick does. And, and, and no one wants to succeed more than he does. Okay.